But there used to be a time when if you disturbed his concentration, he would kill you. While once traveling for a benefit match to Ahmednagar, Sunil was reading a newspaper and the crowds used to come in by hundreds. And obviously he didn't want to be seen, so he was he had the newspaper on his head. And I was sitting next to him. And the crowds came and I said, Gavaskar. And some idiot picked up the paper to see Gavaskar. The rest is history. <laughs> Similarly, at, a, at, a, at, at Hindu Jim Khana, when Tata's was playing Nilam, and somebody said something to him there, Gavaskar and that young man over there were both on the floor fighting. That was the temperament. But as he grew in age, as he matured, he became the man who heard us, listened to us. Never once did he rebuke anybody. I remember the time when he was desperately trying to retire when he had some differences of opinion with the then Indian captain. Didn't want to go to Madras to play that famous test match where he scored 230. We had to tell him, he and I, his father, me and his father, what he was doing. He silently, patiently heard us and said, all right, I'll do it. Never once has he disrespected a senior cricketer in Mumbai. Never once has he not looked at a junior cricketer, a younger cricketer. Never once has he mentored Ravi failed to mentor Ravi or uh, Shish or Jiga. Not once has he ever failed to do this. But he has failed me. He never ever told me how he scored the runs. I might have been slightly closer to him also in school and college. But perhaps that is destiny. Thank you very much.